Hello everyone. I hope everybody is having a wonderful day. Uh, today's video I thought I would make uh, this one about how to make beautiful flower arrangements for fall. I always try uh, to use whatever I already have on hand. And uh, first of all I thought I would use this beautiful cut uh, va cut glass vase and I have these beautiful fake Queen Anne's lace flower arrangement as you can see and these are very beautiful they're realistic I've had a lot of people come in and want to know what kind of flower is that? They thought I had picked it out in my yard. And it looks good, you know, with just that by itself. But to add a little fall color, I'm using these bright orange roses. And where I live, I still have roses sometimes on up to Thanksgiving and a little bit after Thanksgiving. And I love these orange roses. So, I only had two left. They were too beautiful not to use. So, I usually like to use groups of threes. But in this case, I thought this arrangement looked good with just the two. It maybe brought more of attention to them and to the Queen Anne's Lace. Okay, that's one, one, one big one. Then the next one is, I'm going to use this smaller cut glass vase. And this one is just a bud vase. I like to use this when I put uh, fresh roses from my garden or irises or tulips. It's a bud vase. And look how that yellow pops against my study's paneling wall. I just think it brightens up this room so much. I always try to use, you have to excuse my cleaning rags, I've been dusting in here and rearranging things. Uh, but as you can see, this simple bud vase right here makes such a beautiful little sample flower arrangement for the study here on my desk or for in the corner of the bathroom sink anywhere okay and then the next one is i thought i'd use this vintage green little pitcher that i have and i like green because it just goes with anything i think and i had these burgundy roses one and you see i bend them a little bit longer than this but i bent these so they would fit nicely two and three and i thought that made a lovely flower arrangement too and if you don't want to use flowers you can use greenery and you can dress up the pot. This is one of my blooming cactuses. And I put this little cat right here on it. It looks like it's a little kitten. It looks like it's climbing up into the plant. And see, it just dresses this plant up. And if you want the plant to even be even more dressed up, you can take this flower here, I do this sometimes, and stick it in here amongst my fake greenery. I mean, uh, real greenery. And this makes the fake flower look even more bright and real and cheery. Okay, now one other idea I have. Let me put my cactus back over here so it can get the morning sun. 
you can have even something whimsical like this frog. He's got a yellow vest on and he is actually a pencil holder. Yes, he's got a nick in him, but you can hide that nick and you can make a flower vase out of a pencil holder. Let me show a few more flowers you can add. You can add these more pale colored ones where the pencils go. And these little white flowers back here or on the front, it doesn't matter. These little white dogwoods. Dogwoods bloom in the spring, but these are the ones I had and are taking out right now. But you get the gist of the idea. You can use almost anything. It doesn't have to be a flower pot. And then this other one is this little vintage dog that I got at the thrift store. I think I got him back in February and he's actually three dollars is how much he was. And I loved the beautiful shiny uh, detail of this vase and the beautiful detail even of his fur. And I got a puppy um, figurine it looks almost identical to this one that I thrifted one year and put in my husband's stocking because he loves he loves dogs and this little uh, vintage planter here I thought would look best with either a real ivy vine or a fake ivy vine And it looks like he's just sitting up next to a bunch of ivy. And you can arrange it any way you want to. Or you can add some simple flowers to it. Also along with the green ivy. But I think he looks best with just the fake ivy or the real greenery ivy. I have had some real ivy years and years ago. That's when I was first really getting into plants. And it needed repotting. <clears throat> and I didn't get around to uh, repotting it, so it finally uh, died. But I just wanted you all to see and give some examples of what beautiful arrangements you can use for fall or any time. It doesn't matter. And how you can dress up all of them that you have. Even your real beautiful uh, blooming Christmas and Thanksgiving cactuses with just a simple plant hanger on the side. That's all you have to do. Or just with a simple pencil holder, a whimsical frog. I've had this frog for years, and I think I got it at the dollar store, I think. Or you can use this here. You can use a vintage candy dish. This is actually a silver candy dish. I love the detail on it. And I love the patina on this. I could uh, get all the tarnish off, but it has just turned this beautiful pewter color. And if, say if you have one like this and it's missing the lid, sometimes I repurpose uh, some of my things that have been broken or missing something. Now let me fold this up a little bit. Now see, you can use, let me get another one. You can use um, beautiful fake roses. It's hard to do this with one hand, but I'm trying. And it, and it makes a unique and beautiful flower 
arrangement. This would be pretty in a older Victorian home. But I hope this gives you all some ideas of how you can use different things uh, to make beautiful flower arrangements. And everybody, I hope y'all have a blessed day and a blessed week. Thank y'all so much for watching, and please subscribe to my channel, hit the bell so y'all know every time I put on a new video, it will not cost anything, and give me a thumbs up because that will help my channel grow. Give me a thumbs up too. Everybody, take care and have a blessed day and a blessed week. Thank y'all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Bye-bye.